What the? Huh? What was that? Side of the enemy.
imagination. What happened? HQ. This is HQ. This is patrol. The enemy is attacking from an unknown position. Acknowledged. Keep your eyes open. What the? What happened? Huh? Huh? You think you scoundrels can just do as you please in my base? As soon as my reinforcements arrive from Russia, we will crush you like the vermin you are. We will teach you whose base this really is. The same goes for that bastard Gene as well. Pathetic. Is it hard being an officer that is when no one follows your orders? Silence! What are you? You're a monster! You try to kill a man? And call him monster? Such crude behavior. Damn it! My arm! I'd heard an intruder was lurking about here. And here I find I've come all this way for nothing! I'd been hoping to see the face of an old friend, wasn't I? Snake? <laughs> My raison d'etre! You... you... You're not worth killing! But I can't have you wandering around like this. <clears throat> there. That should hold you. How dare you put me in a cage like a cow! Be quiet. The lock should melt sometime before you starve to death. Best to save your strength. Ah! 
Python. You're alive. Who, who's there? Have you come back to kill me, Yankee dog? Guards! To my side! Eliminate the intruder! This is a direct order from Colonel Skaronsky! <laughs> You're not the same man as before. Do not worry. My orders fall upon deaf ears anyway. Four weeks. It's been four weeks since that whelp Gene arrived here. And in those four weeks, everything has changed. Aren't there any soldiers still loyal to you? You must be joking. Wouldn't you like to know how in just four weeks, that man was able to bring the entire peninsula under his control? He announced he was building a mercenary nation, right? A country of soldiers. Ha! A mercenary nation? Preposterous! This piper has them all dancing to his tune. But I won't be fooled. His methods are simpler. His tools lie deep in the hearts of all men. Greed. And that which lays beneath it. Fear. He simply reaches beyond the impenetrable wall that guards men's hearts. And then strikes. Strikes at their most vulnerable point. Fear. Yes, fear. Fear? Compared with the fear that man brought with him, that puny weapon you carry is harmless. You have no idea. No idea how terrible that man truly is. Fear, huh? Lebochkin, LA-5. What's a World War II fighter doing here? It's a part of my collection. Once the king of Russian fighters, it could hold its own against the Focke-Wolf and the Messerschmitt. Were you a fighter pilot? Indeed I was. Yes, a fighter. If only I had a mink. Or a Sukhoi. I would riddle Jean's body with holes this very day. Somebody! Anybody! Bring me a plane! A plane! <laughs>
What's that? The enemy's here!
HQ. This is HQ. This is patrol. The enemy is at... Uh, what happened? This is patrol. The enemy is attacking from an unknown position. Acknowledged. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution.
What's that? walls of this storage facility are more fragile than they look. With the way you planted that bomb, the blast would have been far too powerful. You would have ended up cutting off your own escape route. You're so focused on completing the mission that you neglected your own personal safety. Nasty habits are hard to kick, eh, Snake? Python, you dismantle the bomb? But you couldn't have had enough time. Time? I had plenty. All I had to do was flash freeze the detonator and poof! No more explosion. Sure is hot in here. Python. So you were alive all this time. What happened to your body? It has been a while, Snake. How long's it been? Since our last mission together. Nearly ten years? We were both so very young back then. Yeah. When the boss vanished, and I didn't know what the hell I was doing. You were there to save me. You were one of the few people I could always count on in battle. But I thought you were dead. You were wounded on that top secret mission in Vietnam. Yes. I was. At one point, I was within an inch of death. My body lost the ability to regulate its temperature. Left unchecked, it would rise continuously, uncontrollably. Eventually, my body would literally burn itself up. Without this suit and its liquid nitrogen filling, I wouldn't be able to survive more than half a day. But this suit has also made me a superior soldier.
Look. Look at this stage I control. Not even your famous CQC will work on me. But Python, why? You're a good man. Why join Gene's Rebellion? It's my salvation, Snake. Do you have any idea why the CIA let me live this long? They're afraid of you, Snake. You're a legend. A hero. You bested the boss. The CIA knows it. So they searched for a soldier strong enough to take you down if you ever betrayed them. They chose me. I'm the anti-snake. And I'm the one man who can break you! Ever since I came back to Fox, I've been sent to do nothing but wet works, so as to keep my assassin instincts nice and sharp. Can you recall those you've killed in Battle Snake? I do. I have nightmares about them, nearly every night. They won't leave me alone. But I've spilled far too much blood by now to ever make amends. The nightmares end today! Python, don't! I've been waiting for this moment. The moment when we could meet each other, face to face, on the battlefield, as enemies! Snake! After I've killed you, my purpose will be fulfilled! Let's go! Amazing, Snake. I can see why. The CIA was afraid of you. Now I'll never have to take another life. Looks like I got my salvation after all. That's enough, Python. No more talk. What do you think you're doing, Snake? I'm trying to keep the liquid nitrogen from leaking out of your suit. Don't do it, Snake. You can't. Your arms will freeze solid before it. Same python as ever. Going gets rough, and he gets all hot under the collar. What? You still owe me money from our last poker game. I can't have you dine on me yet. <laughs> Here I am, still watching your ass. Remember this, Snake. I followed Jean. 
because he promised redemption. But soldiers like us won't find redemption in the good of the nation or the hatred of an enemy. Soldiers need a hero. They need a man for whom they can gladly risk their lives. Can you bear the burden of knowing that you hold your men's lives in your hands, Snake? If not, you never be G. <sighs> Thank you. 
breeze.
What's that? Nothing here. He's here! This is HQ. This is Patrol. We've lost sight of the enemy. Commence alert formation! Acknowledged. The enemy is still nearby. What happened? What's that?
take him into custody. So, this is Null, the perfect soldier. What is this guy? Circuit's gone dead. Give me a status report. Why do you still live? What the hell's he talking about? No man can meet the perfect soldier in battle and survive. But you won't die. Why? These moves. I know these moves. It was in... Mozambique. Right where you are, Snake. Hey, you've been quite a handful, I'll give you that. Good work, perfect soldier. Your mission is complete. Your mission is over, no. At ease. Sure. Only a puppet after all.
Answer me. Huh? Answer me. Answer me. <gasps> Looks like you've done quite a number on this one. Intel extracted via physical torture is unreliable. It has always been my understanding that a skilled interrogator doesn't have to resort to inflicting pain on his subject. You're right, Commander. But it all depends on the time and the place. This man used to be a member of Fox. For him, this doesn't even qualify as torture. I was simply saying hello. I see. As a fellow Fox, you know his limits. Still, it's not easy getting information out of him, is it, Cunningham? Uh, he is a tough one, I'll give him that. But his resilience will be his undoing. This time, I'll get the location of the remaining legacy, for sure. Can you do it? It's not part of my normal regimen, but there is a way. Drugs. Truth serum won't work on a member of Fox. While he was away from the battlefield, they developed a new formula. Confessions extracted via truth serum can't be trusted. More so if you're using a stronger formula. He could fall apart before you even have a chance to question him. You know that as well as I. Why the hurry, Cunningham? It seemed... Uh, the ideal way to handle it, from an efficiency perspective. Alright then. But I want to talk to him first. Be my guest. Truth serums also have an anesthetic effect. If I use it before he recovers his strength, I can't make him hurt. Let's let him taste the fear a little while longer. You've been awake all this time. You'd make a formidable opponent. I can see now why you've inherited the title of boss. And yet, you are troubled. <laughs> Who are you loyal to? Why do you fight? What is a country? Soldier! Have you lost sight of these things? That's why you retired from Fox. But here you are, back on the battlefield. Once you've inherited the soul of a warrior, you can never leave the battlefield. Huh. 
<laughs> Allow me to share a story. This whole business about stealing Metal Gear. It was all a setup from the beginning. The idea was the CIA's. They were planning to give the American-developed Metal Gear to the Russians. Giving the enemy a new weapon of their own design. Do you know why? Enlighten me. To prolong the Cold War. The failure of its planned economy has left the Soviet Union's finances in shambles. On top of that, thanks to the boss's work six years ago, they lost the philosopher's legacy. The Russians can no longer sustain the massive military spending demanded by the Cold War. And now America, in addition to acquiring the legacy, has succeeded in deploying MIRVs in battle and is moving to cement her military superiority through the ongoing strategic arms limitation talks. At this rate, the global balance of power will soon collapse, and before long the Cold War will have ended. And when that happens, the CIA's importance will have diminished considerably. The CIA is giving Metal Gear to the Russians to maintain the balance of power? Metal Gear is a weapon far more advanced than any Merv. It would be a most valuable trump card for Moscow. One that would render Salt irrelevant. The world would move away from compromise and accommodation. And once again split in two, the age of soldiers and spies would continue. Fox's orders from the CIA were not to guard Metal Gear during transport, but to steal it and then to pretend to defect to the Soviet Union. A clever plan on the part of the CIA. All designed to protect its organizational interests. No. No way. I don't believe it. This is what you call your country. So that's why you staged a rebellion. I will create a world I desire. Just as soldiers have need of talented officers, men have need of talented leaders. Leaders capable of granting guidance to the world. I was created for that purpose. Created? Have you heard of the Successor Project? No. It was a top secret experiment, conducted by the US government. Its goal, to create the ultimate battlefield commander. The skills to wage war, the aptitude for strategy, the endurance to return from battle alive, and the charisma to overwhelm and master the hearts of soldiers. My voice is endowed with a special power. Another product of the successor project. And the soldier they chose as the model leader was none other than the legend herself. The boss. The boss. I received these gifts. I inherited them. Snake, you inherited the title of boss. You were her last disciple. You and I are like brothers. And as such, I couldn't possibly kill you now. Make yourself comfortable, brother. For you're about to witness the creation of my new world.
It's me. Somehow I knew it would be you. Yes, negotiations with the Kremlin were a success. They won't interfere with what's about to happen. I must thank you for all your help. When they saw the trajectory data for Metal Gear, they knew that this was no bluff. The CIA must be in a state of total panic about now. All part of your plan, I presume. Tell me something, though. You couldn't possibly have obtained the data on your own, could you? There must be someone backing you. Who is it? Never mind. I've got a fairly good idea who it is. The man with the same code name as Null. But you do realize you're betraying your employer, don't you? Just what is it you've got in mind? You're not using me, are you? No matter. We'll meet again. In a new world. One of my own creation. Until then, my friend. Ocelot. What is it? What's happened? Pardon sir! But the perfect soldier! He's... Ah! Ah! No. What's the meaning of this? I must complete my mission. Stand down, Null. Not yet. He lives. I have not completed my mission. You mean Snake. He's been captured. Your mission is complete. Stand down, Null. No! Why won't you die, Snake? Out of my way! I'll kill him! I must kill him! I must kill... You will follow my orders, perfect soldier. I am your commander. Take him to the preparation chamber. The perfect soldier has his memory reset after every mission. And yet, after a single skirmish, you managed to instill such strong emotions in him. Snake. Select the next soldier immediately.
HQ. This is HQ. This is patrol. We've lost sight of the enemy. Commence alert formation. Acknowledged. The enemy is still nearby. Hi there. I brought you some dinner, and some for the prisoner, too. Thank you. Awfully nice of you to come all this way, just to bring me a meal. Don't mention it. Say, mind if I talk to the prisoner for a little while? I want to meet the man who fought the perfect soldier and lived to tell about it. Don't mind me, just enjoy your supper. Huh? But... Please try to understand. When a girl's life is on the line, sometimes she longs for a strong man. Uh... Go ahead. Can you do me a favor and look the other way for a while? Looks like you've really been through the ringer, Snake. But I'm glad to see you're alive. I never thought you'd actually survive a fight with Null. Let's see if we can't get you patched up. Uh. <clears throat> oh, uh, eat your dinner. Don't worry, it's not drugged or anything. Don't move, Snake. And keep quiet, okay? <clears throat> Can you hear me? Is this telepathy? Shh. Not so loud. Just be quiet and listen. I don't have enough power to talk for very long. <clears throat> Gene has begun preparations for Metal Gear's ballistic launch. He's given the orders to start loading the nuclear warheads. What? It's still too early. Did the negotiations break down? I don't know. Not even Ursul and I can know what's running through Jin's mind. As to why he's negotiating with both the U.S. and the Soviet Union, your guess is as good as mine. I think he may be preparing to use Metal Gear right now, no matter how the talks turn out. But I can't stop him. Not by myself. Not while he has Ursula on his side. You're the only one I can count on. They've probably taken Metal Gear from the harbor to the assembly plant so they can load the warheads. If you destroy it now, you can at least prevent Jean from launching a nuclear attack. Why are you telling me this? I saw a vision of you destroying Metal Gear. My premonitions don't always come true. But I do know that you've got a chance to prevent nuclear holocaust. Can you get me out of here? Not right now. Be patient. Your luck will change soon. Well, that makes me feel better. I'm practically smiling on the inside. All good things come to those who wait. Okay, Chief. Uh, time to wrap it up. Huh? Oh, sorry. I guess I got a little too into it. Into it? This is our little secret, okay? Don't tell anybody. Please, Snake. You have to believe.
to save me? You didn't even know if I was still alive. Why'd you put yourself in danger like that? Because you're our boss. Besides, we knew you wouldn't let yourself get killed in a place like this. But saving me's not gonna... We need you. Don't forget that snake. All right, let's get out of here. I know where Metal Gear is. Our business here is finished. Roger that, boss. There's a passageway up ahead that's only lightly guarded. <gasps> Into the line, Snake! These are capable men you lead, Snake! I never thought a Fox agent, a specialist in solo sneaking missions no less, would have his comrades come rescue him. My mistake. You nearly slipped through my fingers. I must remember to thank Ursula. Ursula? The precog working for Jean. She's a mystery to me, but she does have her uses. Anyway, now that we're both here, we can get on with the questioning. The legacy! Where is it? I know you stole the KGB's half. Now tell me where it is! The KGB? What are you talking about? Still playing at denial. Have it your way. Your men die by my hand one by one until you change your mind. <laughs> Stop! Where's the philosopher's legacy? Where is it? I don't know! <laughs> Stop it! I don't know anything, I swear! You're lying! You must know where the legacy is. The Pentagon told me. The Pentagon? Why are you so concerned about what's happened to the legacy, Cunningham? What's your stake in this? Enough! You'd better start giving me some answers, or else... Lisa, why are you- Hurry! Go on without me, boss. Hurry. Quit your whining. The bullets went straight through. Now get up! Don't just stand there! Stop them! Okay, step on it. Looks like we shook them off. Yeah. Glad to see you're still in one piece, Snake. How's our wounded? I'm not the world's best field medic, but his condition looks stable. Good. I thought you specialized in solo missions, but it looks like you can lead a squad, too. Knock it off. Hey, Snake. Who's the dame? This is Elisa. She helped us escape. You got one of Jean's soldiers to join our side? Uh... Just out of curiosity, how exactly did you manage to get a girl like this? Don't you think she's a little young? I mean, another five years and she'll be a real knockout of a woman, but... <laughs> Let's go, Snake. We should check on the location of the plant while it's still dark out. The lights should tell us exactly where it's located. Right. You lead the way. Elisa, about what Campbell was saying... You mean, about waiting another five years? That's not what I meant. I mean, the reason why you betrayed Jean and saved me. You never told me. Haven't I already explained this to you? I want you to destroy Metal Gear. I thought you were loyal to Jean. I thought so too. At first. Even now I'm still grateful to him. In East Germany, Ursula and I were used like guinea pigs. He saved us from that. But the communists... The Americans? They're all the same. All the military wanted was to know the secret of our ESP. They only wanted us so they could use our ESP in war. So once again, I ran away with Jean. Then why did you end up betraying him? It was the nukes. No one should ever be allowed to use nuclear warheads. Not ever. I'm a victim of the atomic bomb snake. My parents were nuclear physicists working in the Soviet Union. There was an accident at the Kishtim facility, and they were killed in the ensuing explosion. Kishtim? 
the nuclear disaster in the Ural Mountains. Yes. And Ursula and I suffered the after effects. It still haunts me in my dreams. I see my parents dying in the explosion. I see the ashes of death falling from the sky. Soon afterwards, we gained our abilities. Right after we were sent back to our country. I've been exposed too. The tests at Bikini Atoll. I know. Somehow, I could tell. Is that why you saved me? Perhaps. I think I probably wanted to leave some hope for the future. With this body, I'll never be able to have children of my own. So instead, I'm placing my hopes in you. Why me? I just think you'll make a great father someday. Elisa, I'm sorry, but I'll never be a father. This is the place. We should be able to see the plant's location from here. So, that's where they're storing Metal Gear. I think so. Something's not right. It's pretty late at night for them to still be working. It might be worth checking out. Right. And Null's still undergoing readjustment. With me gone, it'll take a few days to get him prepped. Now's our chance. Then the only thing we have to look out for is Cunningham. No. Jean is the one you should really be afraid of. The successor project was designed to produce a battle commander capable of commanding the perfect soldier. I've never actually seen Jean fight. But I think his reflexes may be even faster than Null's. And his battle technique is patterned after the boss herself. Must have taken some guts to turn on him. Are you afraid? Yes. But... I believe in you, Snake. My sister foresaw you plunging the world into fear. I foresaw you stopping Metal Gear. It was the first time in our lives our visions weren't one and the same. I believe in you. You better get back. Once we catch our breath, we're heading straight for the plant.
imagination. Hurry up and plant these bombs. You're not getting away from me this time, Snake. Gene. will make an exile of me. Watch, you worthless turncoats! Watch as I teach this rebel rouser a lesson! Get out, you intruders! This base is mine! It's him. Colonel Skaronsky? Damn it! Why? Why won't it move? Freeze, Gene. Kind of an anticlimactic way to end it, huh? That's your trump card. Tell your men to throw down their weapons. <laughs> trump card? You certainly put on a great sideshow, Snake. Even I didn't see Skoronsky coming. As a token of my appreciation, allow me to share with you my true trump card. What? Wake up, Ursula. Lisa. No. Ursula, don't. Snake, shoot me. Elisa, what are you talking about? Hurry, Snake. You have to shoot me before Ursula awakens. Shoot now. If you don't, I'll... before you spawn your accursed snake children. <clears throat> Psychokinesis. Ursula and Elisa were originally one personality, but in the process of artificially augmenting her mental powers, they split into two. Ursula gained the greater powers at the expense of her emotions. That Metal Gear may be only an incomplete prototype, but dear Ursula, more than makes up for its shortcomings. How does it move like that? It's like it's not a machine at all.
You're pretty good. 